so hello guys so welcome to my session so in this session i am going to cover the project number 14 so in this session we have this is the requirement what i face in my current kubernetes project so i am working in the same environment and this is the requirement what i have fulfilled in my production environment so in this requirement like we have two kubernetes cluster running in two different location like one cluster running in different location and another cluster running in different location and the customer want to migrate the resource from cluster one to cluster two okay uh, so i have already explained in this architecture like your cluster running in east us region and another cluster running in west us region and this is the application which we want to migrate from here to here so how do we achieve this one okay so those things like i have covered so like how do we migrate and i have already covered in this uh, series like i have already created two cluster so those requirement i will fulfill in my in my in my lab okay so this is my cluster name so i have created one cluster in the location west us location and the cluster two running in the east us location okay so i have connected i have created two jump host so in this jump host you can see i have connected this prod to cluster and the another jump host i have connected with the cluster prod one cluster so this is the different cluster so if you see here kubectl get ns kubectl so here you can see and kubectl get pod hyphen and dev so here you can see uh, a lot of resources are there in the cluster number two and if you go to connect to cluster number one kubectl get pod hyphen and dev so there is no resource found so now i am going to migrate this all the resource from cluster two to cluster one okay this is my cluster one so how do we achieve this one so for this one we are using the Valero tool Valero is a migration tool or backup restoration tool so here we have we are using the Valero tool so I have already explained in my uh, earlier session like how do we set up uh, the Valero tool and how it work how do it, they have how do we create the storage account to store the ba data backup so everything I have explained it in my previous session so if you want to get uh, access on this session you can ping me on my whatsapp number so here's my whatsapp number or you can contact me on my gmail id to get my previous session so that i have already explained in a very detailed way like how do we migrate the resource from cluster 1 to cluster 2 how do we define the architecture so i have already explained in this uh, in this diagram like how do we fulfill this requirement like I have set up the weather tool, we have used a storage account, we have authenticated through the service principle and then how do we connect the cluster to and how do we authenticate this cluster to with the same storage account then how do we migrate. So everything I have already covered in this uh, Kube, Kubernetes migration tool and uh, migration series. So now let's jump to my, uh, so now I am also going to show you how do we migrate so first we have to take the backup of this entire resource okay so i'm using this command to take the backup so here i am taking the backup of the entire resource which is under the namespace dev so we have defined the and define the name of the backup so back so i have so dev full backup and you have to define the namespace so if you have uh, so many namespace in your kubernetes project so you have to define each and every namespace here okay but now i am going to take the backup of only dev namespace so we have defined the namespace name so if you want to take the another namespace so you have to define the another namespace and ttl is just for the to store your backup data so ttl is just the defined a retention period 
so how long your backup data is stored in the storage account so I am just keeping the small like one hour or one days okay now you have to run this command so now you can see your dev full backup has been completed if you see here Velero get backup now it is in progress so we have to wait for a minute now it's been finalizing now you can see it's completed so you have taken the dev name you have taken the dev name space backup now let's jump to the uh, another cluster okay here i have already uh, installed the valor tool as per my architecture here we can also install the valor tool so run valor get backup so still it is not syncing it will take some time to sync what i have taken the backup so those backup uh, name will be visible here after some time valor get backup so we have to wait for a minute so So if you want able to see you can also check the status of the tool so kubectl get pod hyphen n valoro so this is my valoro tool i have already installed so if you want to see the check the logs kubectl logs name of the pod minus n valoro on one backup in the backup location you can see here the sync has been completed backup sync so let's see and check the valoro command valoro get backup now you can see your dev full backup is visible here in the cluster number two so now we are going to restore the application in cluster number two so kubectl get pod hyphen and dev so there is no resource so kubectl get ns so now I am going to delete this namespace. So kubectl delete ns dev. So it will take some time. So the similar way I have also created multiple series so that you can also get uh, uh, real time exposure. Okay. So uh, you can see I have created the uh, live troubleshooting session where I have covered around more than 20 plus troubleshooting issue what all the issue I face in my project so based on that I have created those session so that you can also get the real time exposure in the Kubernetes and you will get the more confident during the interview. So here I have mentioned the day to day tasks because uh, what are the day to day tasks in the Kubernetes project what are what type of uh, case scenario which type of project requirement which type of customer requirements those things i have also covered like all the uh, whenever you will get a chance to work in the project so which type of customer requirement uh, we have to fulfill we have to uh, complete the task uh, on the existing requirement so those things i have covered in this session okay also i have covered some monitoring related project like how do we set up the efk like kibana dashboard how do we store the logs because when you delete the pod so automatic the pod uh, logs has been deleted so how do we restore how do we restore and we can visualize in the kibana dashboard also to see the logs of the application okay now let's see what's the status now you can see my dev namespace has been deleted So there's no dev name, namespace are there so now i'm going to restore from this backup okay so for that we are using this command so we have defined the backup uh, backup name so i am uh, trying to restore the data from this backup name right so we have defined the name of the backup now you have defined the name of the restore I'm going to restore from the backup so this is my name of the restore now just enter and you can also see Veloro get 
restore so you can see here it is in progress now it's completed so let's see our namespace kubectl get ns so here now you can see 20 second ago my namespace has been created now let's see the ports are there or not so kubectl get all hyphen n dev the same you can see uh, a lot of uh, ports are there and you can see it's uh, migrated from cluster 1 to cluster 2 and you can see it's 29 seconds ago so the similar way i can also try to migrate one of the application which is argo cd if you see here so in this way you can migrate resource from cluster 1 to cluster 2 by using valor tool so here you can see one of the application is argo cd so kubectl get all hyphen n argo cd so Argo CD is the application you can see a lot of ports are there and this is also the service you can also this is a live application so you can also access this application via this load balancer service so you have to run this application you have to run this uh, uh, copy the IP in the browser and now you can see the application is accessible see your Argo application is accessible now I'm, go I'm going to migrate this application from cluster 2 to cluster cluster 1 to cluster 2 okay so if you go to here this is the number cluster 2 kubectl mm, get ns so you can see there no argo cd okay and let's clear the screen kubectl get ns so here we have argo cd application kubectl get pod hyphen n Argo CD. So and this all the applications is running in the cluster one, but here in this cluster there is no Argo CD, and this cluster running in different location. You can see here. So I have created two cluster. Cluster one is running in West US and cluster two running in East US. Okay. Now I'm going to migrate. So for migrate first I have to take the backup. So I have al already taken hello get backup. So I have already taken the backup. So we have to restore from this backup. Okay. So hello get backup. So I'm uh, restore from this backup item. Okay. So for this we have to run the same command hello uh, restore. Okay. So you have to define the name of the backup which we want to restore from cluster 2 to cluster 1 okay we have defined the name of the backup and we have also defined the name of restore and the rest command uh, will be the same argo cd now you can see has been restored so you can see velero get restore so you can see it is in progress so let's see the status uh, you can see the, your Argo CD application has been created. Now let's see kubectl get all hyphen n Argo CD. So the pod is initializing state and it, the pod is uh, trying to come up. So we have to wait some time. And they have also created the load balancer service. You can see it's a different IP. So in the cluster one, if you see here, in the cluster one, so in the cluster one, you have different IP, but we have migrated the application from cluster one to cluster two, having the different IP. So we can also see the we can also try to access this application from cluster 2 okay so let's see now my all the ports are up and running fine so let's try to connect this application by using this load balancer ip
and now you can see this one also accessible from cluster 2 see this application also accessible from cluster 2 so in this way you can uh, you can migrate uh, the resource from cluster 1 to cluster 2 and I have already explained it very well in the earlier session where I have covered from the scratch level like how the valor work how do we set up the value tool on both of the cluster how it works also i have defined some customer requirement i have covered some live troubleshooting session and also i have covered some monitoring related series about kibana efa elasticsearch full nd grafana prometheus how do we set up the dashboard okay so all the things i have covered like uh, also i have taken some demo interview kubernetes interview like uh, mm, i have also taken the kubernetes in interview in my project so so that so i i understand like what the uh, candidate face like they haven't worked in the kubernetes but they have mentioned in the cv like they have worked on the kubernetes but when i ask some real time question they stuck in the interview so that's why I have created this type of session so that you can also get the real time exposure you like how it works what's the day to day task and based on that like a lot of students also uh, also get the multiple offer by follow up my series you can see here so that will uh, a lot of students in the very positive feedback like it is uh, really helpful to crack the interview and to get the real time exposure okay so, so these are all the things I am providing like day to day tasks like live interview session, 100% interview question, 20 real time issue and customer requirement. So these are the things so what and in this project I have completed and migrate the resource from here to here. And I can uh, I have also show you how to access the application after the migration like yeah, the same the same way I did in my uh, my company project uh, we, uh, we have to also use the same Velero tool so if you have any doubt and if you want to get more details so you can pay, uh, contact me via whatsapp or, or you can mail me on my id